Hi guys, welcome to a quick new video. In this video we have an uh, upgrade for the Brera because these are the lightweight aluminium steering knuckles that came from the for the facelift models. Currently on my Brera I have the, the steel uh, steering knuckles and these aluminium steering knuckles save around two and a half kilograms per side so five kilograms in total which you definitely will uh, notice uh, when steering. Yeah, I'm planning to uh, upgrade my suspension with, uh, with these. But I bought these used and they were in really uh, bad shape. They were heavily oxidized. So the first thing we did is uh, having them uh, wet blasted to clean them up. And they are looking out fantastic. I also coated them with uh, two layers of uh, XCP uh, rust protector to prevent them from uh, oxidizing again. There are a few things that you still have to do to uh, yeah, fully refurbish them and that is to uh, fix all the threads and the broken bolts because these uh, steering knuckles were so heavily corroded basically all bolts were cold welded to the threads so when I wanted to remove them all, all of them uh, almost all of them snapped so to fully refurbish them we need to drill those uh, bolts out and re-thread the aluminium we are going to repair the frets with uh, helicoils. Basically uh, how you do this is you drill out uh, the existing bolt. Then you have to uh, pre-drill with a, a preset size uh, the hole. Then you thread that hole with this bit. And then you basically can insert the helicoil with this tool. insert the helicoil and then uh, when the helicoil is installed you you trim the remaining edge and then uh, you have a fully uh, usable uh, thread again so already uh, put helicoils in uh, the other steering knuckle and we only have uh, three remaining bolts to go so yeah let's uh, install them right now
guys all the helicoils have been installed and now we can use the frets again like so so now the next step is uh, installing the wheel bearing first add some grease Next is installing a brand new ABS sensor. Now we can finally install the brake dust shield and the bracket for the ABS sensor and the brake line. But before we do that, uh, we have to uh, coat them. So guys, the brake dust uh, shield and the bracket have been uh, coated. From factory these are painted black, but uh, they eventually start to rust. So one thing uh, you could do is uh, have these uh, powder coated, but in my country that is uh, quite expensive. So what I did is I coated them with uh, zinc spray, that's a very uh, strong uh, rust protector. And afterwards I coated them with a 2K uh, clear coat, so that will really uh, protect them very well. And if they ever start to rust again, I can uh, just uh, repair it myself and I don't have to send it to, uh, to a powder coater. So yeah, we're going to install these. We will start with the ABS sensor bracket. From factory this bracket isn't coated and it's mounted uh, directly to the steering knuckle. Which means that uh, dirt and water uh, will, will get trapped uh, between the bracket and the steering knuckle and it will start to... Uh, uh, rust the bracket and corrode uh, the steering knuckle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place these two washers so that it's uh, not uh, fixed to the steering knuckle and that way water and dirt won't stay between the bracket it will be able to uh, flush out. Finally we install the brake dust shield.
So guys, the steering knuckles uh, are fully assembled and they're ready to get mounted uh, on the car. They are looking really clean. I also bought new uh, upper wishbones because these are specific to the lightweight aluminium uh, steering knuckles. They have a different cone. So they, these will be uh, replaced as well. And uh, I think I might as well uh, install new uh, lower wishbones when I'm uh, at it. But that is for another video. So I want to say thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully you like this video and uh, hopefully I uh, see you uh, again. Bye.